<clears throat> today we're going to kind of um, really intentionally bring good, elevating, positive energy into our space. Um, I'm going to read to you, you know, from the Yoga Sutras that, you know, it opens up and Patanjali writes, the restraint of the modifications of the mind stuff is yoga. And then he goes on to write, countless aphorisms about how we can still the mind, what we can do to still the mind. And one of the things he says in that first, they call it a pada, the first chapter, one of the last things is, or, so implying that there's many, many before that, right? Or by meditating on anything one chooses that is elevating. So how about that? So let's bring that into our space today. Maybe thinking, arriving in your seat or you're lying down. And just think about things that are elevating to your spirit. Maybe it's getting a new shortstop, Rob. <laughs> There's a smile. <laughs> Expect big things. It could be anything. So go into your space. Something that's elevating, maybe it's that cinnamon roll fresh from the bakery. When you land on that thing, just notice it. You notice where you feel that relationship to it in your body. And throughout our practice today, we'll bring our awareness back to that thing anytime we start to wander. By meditating on anything that is elevating. So with each breath, just visualizing that thing, directing awareness to that one thing. Noticing the breath entering and leaving the body. Now let's begin with a single ohm together. You can bring your hands in prayer, or place them on your heart, or just leave them in your lap. Just kind of bringing us together with this mantra, this sacred sound, this vibration, bringing it into our space, our individual spaces that are uniting us in the collective space together today. Let's exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Oh. Now letting the hands and we float down to the lap be arriving on the knees. And with hands on the knees, maybe the feet are <clears throat> in your easy pose. Easy pose is just kind of that seat where you've got your feet crossed. Maybe you have one foot on the thigh and the other foot on the shin. That's our stidasana, adept pose. So finding whatever is comfortable with the legs. Hands on the knees. Let's roll the shoulders up and back, back and up. 
Getting some movement in the shoulders. <sighs> now let's bring those shoulders to stillness. Let them kind of relax with the elbows, kind of pull those shoulders down, the shoulder blades down. We'll inhale, float the hands up to the sky. And then let those shoulders come down again. Yeah. Breathe in, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, twisting over to the right, the left hand on that knee, maybe the right hand's behind us a lot or a little. And maybe glancing over that right shoulder, or sometimes it's nice to glance over that left shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in. And then exhale. Let's just float the arms across the body, coming to the twist on the other side. So right hand on the left knee, left hand behind us or to our side. And maybe here, bringing that elevating thing to our mind, into our heart space, into our sacred space. And then exhale, bring the hands to the front, heart shining forward. And then drop the head back, maybe lifting the heart in the chest. So it's kind of like that cow back. We'll drop the head back a lot. And then round into a cat back, chin to the chest, kind of rolling the shoulders, kind of hunching forward. Yeah, you know, like that seated cat cow. And inhale the belly forward, chest up and back. Let's do that one more time. Exhale the cat. And then roll those shoulders up and back over the hips. Bring the feet to the floor, knees to the sky. And you know what's coming. Let's exhale, recline back. And then find your variation of Navasana. Lifting the heart, shoulders back. Elbows can be down, hands out, wherever you find yourself. Remember that maybe you're just kind of floating at the dock. You could bring the heels down. Maybe you're out there just waiting for the wind to catch your sail. But draw the belly button in. And now let's lower down the feet, hands to those knees. Extend the left leg long, the right knee stays bent. Flex the left foot. And the left hand is on that right knee. Let's bring your arm up to the sky, inhale. And then exhale, bring the arm behind us, following that thumb with the gaze. Or maybe the gaze is towards that left big toe. Gentle twist to the side. One more breath in. And then exhale, bring the right hand forward. Draw the right foot off the ground, extend that leg long. Maybe the left hand finds the toe or the calf, and the right hand can be wherever is feeling steady for you and we'll come into our hair and pose. So lift the heart, flex the foot to the face. Exhale. Breathe in. And on the exhale, open that left hand to the side. Twisting towards the other side, that right leg is long and lifted. It can be bent if it needs to be bent. Your hand can be on the foot or the calf and follow the gaze back behind you to that left hand or towards the right foot. And then exhale, bring the hand forward to that leg again. Bend the knees, send the leg long. Legs are flat on the floor, roll the shoulders back. Sit up nice and tall. If you notice that there's a difference between the left and the right leg, how they feel. Exhale, bring the hands to the side, finding our staff pose, Dandasana. If you press the hands to the floor, if you've got long kind of monkey arms like me, your hands might reach. If not, they might just hover by your side. So flex your feet, maybe the heels lift. Heart shining past the big toes. And your gaze past the big toes as well, that drishti. And then with that gaze towards the toes, visualizing and feeling, embodying that elevating thing. Exhale, lower the feet. Whew, hallelujah. Exhale, bend that left foot. Find those six bones on the ground, and then bring the right hand towards the knee. Inhale, bring the arm to the sky. 
nice and tall through that spine and exhale twist that left hand behind you you can gaze forward past that right foot that's flexed or past that left thumb and exhale and inhale exhale bring that left hand forward and then extend the left leg to sky flex the foot towards the face heron pose hands are anywhere on that leg to support it be towards the, the toe or towards the calf Flex the right foot and the left. Nice, tall, long back. Good, guys, breathe in. Exhale. One more breath. And then on your exhale, the left hand holds the leg wherever you're, maybe the toe or the leg, and your right arm reaches back behind you, and your gaze can follow the thumb or a big toe. Really pressing through with that left heel, with that lifted leg. And now exhale, bring the right hand back to the leg, bend the knee, send the leg long, and exhale right up into our staff pose, flexing the feet, heels maybe lift, hands might press down, or maybe they hover. Maybe close the eyes and connect to elevate your spirit. One more breath. Now exhale, lower down the heels, bend the knees, lift those hands, maybe rock it back, and we'll find our boat pose again. Now awesome. This can be as active, as brutal as you choose, right? There's a lot of variations. So find what's gonna work for your energy today. Find what you wanna bring into your space. It's gonna keep you still connected to whatever is elevating. <clears throat> One more breath. Now exhale, lower down the feet. Bring hands to the floor, let's bring our feet back, rise up into our Uttanasana, right into that forward fold. And now maybe interlace the hands behind the back and then pull them to the sky. If that doesn't quite feel good on your elbows, on the wrists or the hands, then just bring any hands to the hips, Kind of pinch those shoulder blades together. The heart is parallel with the floor, maybe parallel with the thighs. You might bring a slight sway into your space, or maybe a big sway. Maybe it's a sachet. And then find that breath, feeling the breath in this new shape, the standing pose. And then exhale, bend the knees, let the hands come down, let's rise all the way up to mountain pose, maybe. Take a little detour to get there, opening side to side, maybe bending, flexing. And then we'll stand first, standing, shoulder over hips, pose of the day. Let out a breath. And then another one. And now let's reach our arms to the sky. Exhale, fold it forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, reach the crown of the head forward. You're peeking over that outfield wall on the balls of your feet, reaching the heart, the head forward. Exhale, back, sweep the arms up, Tadasana. And then exhale, fold it forward again, Uttanasana. All the way, forehead parallel with the thighs or the shin or the knees. Bend the knees, rise up to stand. Let's just do that a couple more times. Just rising and folding. Go at your own breath, your own pace. Getting some blood flowing. Spending as much time, as many breaths at the top or the bottom as you need to kind of wake up this body. Now let's meet together in our mountain pose and bring hands to the heart and hands to the hips. And so I don't forget when we're halfway into maybe a half moon or who knows what, let's place one block towards the corner of the right, the right corner of the mat. And let's place one towards the back of the mat, the opposite corner. because so we're gonna move, you know, back and forth. And so that way it's there and it's ready for us. <clears throat> and 
and then grounding again in our mountain pose. Not thinking about what's ahead and what those blocks are for, just letting them be there in the corners of our mats. Let's inhale, bring the hands to the heart. Exhale, bring those hips down, sitting into chair pose, maybe tucking that pelvis, feeling the tops so those hip flexors open, breathe in. Exhale, sigh. Another breath in. Exhale, ground to that right foot, step the left foot back, and slip those arms up. Or maybe they're at your side and reaching through the heel of that foot, crescent lunge. Maybe noticing those hip flexors respond as you reach through the heel and press through the ball, that left foot, let's inhale. Exhale, hinge forward. The arms can be above the head or maybe on the hips. And then exhale, frame the foot, step the right foot back. Here's plank. I need your plank. Hips are lifted. Heart is just hovering over the earth. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale. Now exhale, draw that right knee to the right elbow, and then bring it over to the left. And now it's more sort of like a metronome, just kind of go back and forth, one elbow to the next with the breath. It's back and forth. And the next time you get it over towards that right elbow, bring it all the way back, and then find downward facing dog on your exhale. And then be here for a couple breaths, maybe bending the knees. One by one. Inhale. And exhale. That inhale, look up with the hands, step the left foot forward, press to the ball, the right foot, let's rise up, crescent lunge. Any variation or mudra with those hands, press to the ball, the right foot, and the heel reaching for the ground, but it's lifted. So we maybe feel a response in the hip flexors of that right leg. It's breathing. Exhale, right. Breathe in. And maybe we bring those hands to the hips or to the back. Let's just fold slowly forward. And then we'll frame that foot and step the left foot back, plank pose, breathing in and out. On an exhale, bring that left knee to the left elbow and then over to the right elbow. Don't hold your breath, make sure you're breathing. It goes over to the left now. And then just tick tock it from one elbow to the other. Breathing. And then the next time you get it over to that left elbow, step the foot back, lift the hips up to downward facing dog, and let out a nice sigh. Maybe have relief <laughs> when you get to the downward facing dog. Exhale. And then exhale again. Inhale, reach that right leg up, bend the knee, stack the hips. If you glance under that left shoulder, that left elbow, and see that right foot, maybe you make some circles with that knee. Of welcoming some space into that hip socket. And then bring that right knee down. Now, or foot down, now lower the knees, finding your puppy pose, or maybe a wide legged like child's pose. And feel that connection to whatever is elevating your spirit today. One more breath in. Exhale, lift the hips up, rock forward and back, Adho Mukhasvanasana. Lift the left leg to sky, bend the knee, stack those hips. Then maybe you make your favorite shape with your knee, loosening up that right left hip. And then exhale, lower the foot, bends up with the hand, let's rock it forward. Inhale, Palakasana, breathe in. Exhale, lower down through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. And then exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, when you get there, breathe in and breathe out. Now inhale, step the right foot forward or that left knee, rise up, Anjaneyasana. Yeah, nice job, guys. Really drop that into those hips. You're gonna allow those hip flexors to get some love, inhale. 
Exhale, lean forward, frame your foot, bring the right arm to sky, left hand down, side twist. And then exhale, frame the foot, curl the toes under, step the right foot back, Halakasana. And now we'll lower down knees, chest, chin. Inhale, baby cobra, let those hands hover. Those low ribs maybe on the ground, tops of the legs on the ground, tops of the feet. Glancing towards just pass up for your mat. Inhale. Exhale, press down, up and back, out of Mukha One breath in and out. And then inhale, stepping the left foot forward, lowering the right knee down, top of the right foot. Let's rise up. Anjanasana. Exhale to kind of drop into those hips. Inhale to lengthen through the fingers. And then exhale, bring that right hand down, left hand to sky. Exhale, bring that left hand down, curl the toes under, step it right up, and then sit back, chair pose, sweeping the arms up to the side. We're here for a breath with our arms up, tucking the pelvic. Maybe the hip flexors start to scream or make their, their, their presence known. And let's bring our hands to our hips now. Roll the shoulders up and back like we did at the beginning of class, lifting the heart. And now inhale to bring arms out like a T. And then twist to the right and exhale, making sure those knees are side by side. Yeah, breathe in. Now exhale, ground into that right foot. Let's try to do this with, uh, with real awareness. Step the left foot back. Try to stay in your twist. The left foot goes back, finding a crescent lunge. Take as many toe taps or resets as you need to to really ground into the ball of that left foot. And then you lift up out of the hips and the arms are still in a twist. Breathe in. Exhale, that right hand comes towards that left hamstring. Now reach up with the left hand. A twist and a little back bend. Now exhale, bring the arms to reach short edge to short edge again. And then exhale to twist, arriving towards the front, the heart shining forward. Maybe you notice a little swivel on the left foot. Let's exhale to drop the hands. <sighs> Inhale. And now exhale, just step it forward and come into your mountain pose. <sighs> and we'll be here for three breaths. Maybe feeling a gentle sway, noticing that prana moving the body that energy that we're allowing to move and flow in different ways. Let's inhale to bring the hands up above the head. Exhale to sit it back, chair. Deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna to tilt, you know, tuck that pelvis in and ground that left foot, breathe in. And then on that exhale, twist towards the left. Arms reaching forward and back. And then when you're ready, step that right foot back. Come into that crescent lunge. Ground into the ball of the foot and then feel that expansion as we lift the shoulders up and reach fingertip to fingertip. Nice job. Exhale to bring that left hand towards the right. Now string right on the sky. And then exhale, bring everything back to level out of that back bend. And then exhale to bring the heart forward. Inhale, hands come to sky. Exhale, we float our hands forward to frame the foot and step the foot back. Now let's lift up on an exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And now stay here or lower down to puppy or lower down to child's pose. And give yourself five breaths to maybe remember why you're here today. And then just sink into the breath. Giving yourself the breath, the power of the breath.
Now, wherever you're at, if you're in child's pose, puppy pose, or downward facing dog, glance up at the hands and then make your way forward. So if you're in puppy or child's pose, lift the hips and step the feet forward. If you're in downward facing dog, you're gonna walk with the forward, meeting at the front of the mat, bending knees and rising up to stand. We'll bring our hands to our hearts. Now inhale. And then exhale, step the right foot back. Let's pivot our feet towards the long edge. So the legs are wide. Maybe the legs are straight. Maybe they're bent a little bit. Then open up the arms or teeth. Tadasana, here's our extended mountain pose, inhale. Exhale, let's roll over to the right for our skandhasana. Yes, nice guys, hands at the heart or anywhere that's gonna be supportive, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale. Now exhale, pivot the feet. So our feet face the back of the mat now, the right foot facing the short edge. Crescent lunge, press to the ball of that foot, inhale. If you're hinged over the leg like I am, maybe you lift shoulders up over the hips so you can stay in your fold. A couple breaths. And now wherever you're at, let's do lift those shoulders over the hips and bring the arms out like a T. Uh-huh, and exhale, bring the hands together behind the back, pull those hands away, and then come into your humble warrior as you bow on the inside of that right thigh. Maybe the crown of the head is parallel to the ground. Maybe that's not gonna happen today. So just bring that gaze inward. Breathe in and breathe out. Now exhale to pull those hands up and back as we lift the heart and the chest forward. Let the hands go, let them drift to your side. Maybe coming up above the head and exhale to draw the hands towards the heart. Let's pause here and feel our balance. And now lean forward, grounding into that right foot. Step the left foot up and through, bringing that knee maybe in line with the hip and cross the right left leg over the right, finding your eagle legs. And maybe once you get into your eagle legs, you bring the left hand forward and bring your right elbow into that left elbow crease and find your eagle arm. Knowing that that left foot might be just beside the right calf, maybe it's behind it, but finding your expression of God or Dasana. And then finding your stillness in your eagle pose. One more breath. Now on your exhale, unravel those legs. Keep those arms where they are. Ground into that right foot, step the left foot back, finding your rear Vajrasana three. Maybe the heart comes parallel with the floor, that left leg lifting through and back. Heel to the sky. That foot might be down a lot, or maybe it's lifted high. But finding what feels right for you. And then when you're ready, maybe you undo those eagle arms. Breathing in and out. And now exhale, bring those hands towards the foot, towards the earth, and that right hand towards that block, aha. And now exhale, roll those hips to stack, lift the left arm to sky, Ardha Chandrasana. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath. Now exhale, bend that right knee. Let's float that left foot back and down behind us. Toes towards the long edge and arrive in our rear Vajrasana. Two. Bending that front knee a lot or a little. And any variation with the arms. Bringing ourselves to some stillness. Maybe bringing that inner eye, closing the eyes, bringing our awareness to that, elevating. On an inhale, let's bring our hands above the head to gather our energy, our consciousness, our awareness above. Exhale to open up the arms nice and wide. 
And gaze over that front middle finger, pass that right foot. And exhale, the left hand comes down, that leg, right arm reaches up and over. Opening up that shoulder to the back, reaching across. And then exhale, bring the arms through, and that right hand extends on the inside of that leg, left arm to sky, maybe the hip. Maybe that elbow rests on the knee. For side angle form, just breathe in. Breathe out. Now inhale, bring those shoulders over the hips, bending our palm and beer, but draw some chi with the fingers reaching forward and back. Inhale, bring hands above the sky, straighten that front, that right leg, pivot the foot towards the long edge. And now tilt that pelvis so those sits bones tilt back and the fronts of the hips are forward and we'll fold into our prasari tapado tanasana. Maybe the crown of the head is parallel with the ground. Bend those knees as much as you need to, guys. And feel the breath nourishing every part. Feeling the nurturance on the breath. And then exhale, walk those hands towards that left foot, take the left foot towards the front of the mat, come on the ball, that right foot, and let's step the left foot back, Chaturanga, or Palakasana. And then when you're ready, exhale down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. And then exhale back to Adha Mukha Svanasana or child's pose, or puppy pose, and we'll be here five breaths. Sinking into the present moment, let me be bringing awareness to the points of contact of the body, connecting to the body via the breath. Just be On your next exhale, brings up with the hands, make your way to downward facing dog and then mountain pose. So moving at your pace, coming out of whatever resting shape you were in. Maybe taking a detour on your way to mountain pose if there's anything that might feel just right on any part of your body. And we'll meet in mountain pose together with hands at the heart center or maybe hands at the side. Maybe even chanting in our hearts or out loud the mantra om. And exhale, ground into that left foot, step the right foot back, pivot the feet towards the long edge, feet are wide. Nice, inhale, drop the hands, reach them to side to side. Exhale, hands to the hips as we Go over to the left, Skandasana. Be here a couple breaths. If you have Ujjayi breathing in your practice, maybe you notice or bring it in as you have that ocean wave breath. Let's exhale, bring the hands to the earth as you pivot onto the ball, the right foot, left foot facing the front of the mat. Let's rise up, Asha Chandrasana. Any variation with those arms. Letting this be our moving meditation. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Pull those hands towards that right heel, looking at the chest and the heart, and then humbly bow on the inside of that leg, and maybe hovering over the thigh. Nama Bada Asta Vira Padrasana. Just 
Exhale to lift the heart, lift the shoulders, release those hands, let them float to the side. Maybe they come all the way up or you bring them up and exhale into the heart space. Breathe in. Nice, exhale to shift the weight forward, maybe lean forward as we bring the right leg through the knee in line with that hip. Exhale, cross the leg over the left, finding your Garuda legs. And if you want to add your Garuda arms, bring your right arm out, left arm in the elbow crease. Gadudasana. Really nice, guys. Breathe in. Our moving meditation brings us to uncross the legs, grabbing the left foot and send that right leg back, heart parallel with the floor. Vira Vajrasana three. Any variation with the height of the leg and the angle of the heart. You can undo those arms whenever you'd like. Breathe in. And now exhale, bring that hand to the block. And you can open up the hip, stacking the hips right on top of the left. Ardha Chandrasana. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath. And then when you're ready, bending that left knee, floating that right leg back, the arm goes with the leg. And here we are, Virabhadrasana 2. Again, any detour that you need as you arrive, rinse past the middle finger, breathe in. Exhale that right hand down, that leg, left arm reaches up and over, trying to stay into that front bend. Peaceful warrior. And exhale, bring that left arm through, right arm to the sky. The left elbow can rest in the leg. Maybe it reaches down the inside of that leg. Inhale. And now exhale, bring the hand down. Right hand meets the left, pivot on the ball of the foot. And now we'll inhale, step that left foot back. Breathe in. And then make your way to downward facing dog. When you get there, maybe pressing the, the chest towards the thigh. And then up to you if you want to rest here, find child's pose, or maybe you rock it forward into your plank pose and move through a vinyasa before finding puppy or baby or child's pose or your downward facing dog. And glance up at the hands, we'll meet in our downward facing dog. So if you're in puppy or child's pose, find your way to downward facing dog. If you're in downward facing dog, just stay there being present, being aware. Inhale, exhale, let the breath go. And now inhale, walk forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower down the knees, tops of the feet come to the earth, and then the chest and the chin come down. And then inhale, the baby cobra, the low ribs on the ground. And then lengthen, reach, lift that right foot up and then lengthen through the toes, feeling it come like extending out of the socket of the leg. And then lift the left toes up, reach, reach, reach with the toes, lower the left foot down. And now lowering down a little bit more on the chest, maybe bring the arms out like a Y. Palms down to the ground. And then flip the hands so the thumbs are to the sky. Now lift the chest so the low ribs are on the earth and the arms are lifting off the ground. And we'll be here for this variation of our locus. Maybe you want to lift the tops of the thighs off the earth. 
warming up the back body. And now exhale, lower down the legs, lower down the arms, bring the palms to the earth, rest on the cheek. Breathe in. And inhale. Now exhale, bring the eyes parallel with the floor. And then on an inhale, lift the hands to the sky, those thumbs. As if someone, you're a puppet, and some strings around your thumbs. Lift the thumbs to the sky, arms lift. Inhale, lift the tops of the thighs off the ground, maybe. Maybe you bend the knees and the feet are parallel with the sky, hovering over the earth. And then exhale, lower the thighs, lower down the hands, palms to the ground, but keep those feet to the sky. And maybe drop the feet to the right. And then to the left. And just side to side. And then over and back. And then bring those feet to the middle. Exhale to lower the legs down. Maybe the feet are mat distance apart. And now bring those elbows in. So elbows are under the shoulders. And then exhale to press. Maybe the hip bones, the pubic bone into the earth with the heart. For our Shalamba Bhujangasana. Pulling those elbows energetically toward the hips and the hips towards the elbows, the heart shining forward, breathing. Now exhale, glance over that right shoulder towards the right heel. But move nice and slow and notice the, the, the back responding as you move. And now move nice and slowly as we exhale to look over that left shoulder. Feeling the back, the right side of the back, and the shift, and the left side of the back shifts. Now exhale, bring the gaze back forward. From here, curl the toes under, lift the hips, finding our forearm plank with just a breath. Inhale. Exhale, let the breath go. One more breath in. And exhale, lower down the knees, send the hips back, and now walk the hands forward in the ash, um, in the anahatasana. Crown puppy pose, exhale. Inhale, glance up at the hands. Maybe bring the fingertips of the right hand to the ground, and the left arm comes underneath the chest, underneath the heart, and reaches towards the right side body, the back of the arm on the ground, palm to the sky, and then lower the right hand to the ground again. So we're kind of threading the needle in our puppy pose, the left arm underneath the heart. And then exhale, bring that left arm through and back to the top, finding puppy pose for a breath. And exhale to come onto the fingertips of that left hand so we can slide the right arm under the heart, back with the right arm to the ground. And then bring the left palm to the floor, maybe the forehead on the ground. And then exhale, bring the right arm through, bring it forward. So hands are in the front again, the heart melting to the earth. Let the breath go. And then inhale to walk those, to lift the heart and walk those hands under the shoulders. Let's bring the right knee up and through, bringing the heel down, the left knee on the earth, and then flex the right foot towards the sky. Ah, the honey went awesome. Press the heel down into the earth and see how that back of the leg feels. Then maybe let go and not press so hard and see if there's one that's a little bit more suitable for your needs today. Be closing the eyes and grounding back into this moving meditation. Let's exhale to rock forward, bringing the knee over the ankle. Maybe the knee goes past the ankle, honoring the range of motion in that joint. You can lift the left knee up by curling the toes under. 
finding a variation of kind of a lizard, kind of a forward lunge. And maybe you rock side to side. So with the ball that left foot curl under and that knee forward, you kind of rock. You notice it in that hip flexor a little. Yeah, just a little sway. Now let's bring our hands on the inside of the foot. Option to lower the knee down, top of the foot down. Let that right knee drop way out. Maybe you walk hands forward, coming out of the forearms, maybe on the palms. Create your lizard pose. Again, if Uja, you breathing is in your practice, you bring it into the space and connecting to it here. Another breath in. When exhale brings that foot to the ground, the knee in, bring the hips back, bring the hand on the outside of the foot, curl the toes under, lift the knee, and then let's step the right foot back. Here we are, plank pose. Be in your plank pose for a breath, maybe two, and go to downward facing dog whenever you're ready for downward facing dog. Yes, and when you get there, inhale, bring the right leg up, bend the knee, stack the hips, and we make some circles with the knee. And inhale, step the right foot through between the, the hands, Lower the left knee down, bring the right knee to meet the left. And now let's bring your hands under the shoulders and just sway those hips side to side. Kind of letting them drop far to the ground. And when you do that with the knees down, you might notice the outer glute stretch. And let that happen. Back and forth. And then bring those hips and knees to center. Step the left foot forward. And then let's rock that knee, that knee kind of past the ankle. If that feels good for you, if that's in your range of motion, and then come onto the ball, that right foot, rocking forward, back. And then lower the right knee down, and then send the hips back. Heel to the ground, toes to the sky. Ardha Hanumanasana. Surrender and bow over the straight leg. Exhale to bring the knee forward again. Walk the hands, bring the right knee forward to curl the toes under. And then let that knee drop to the side. And then let's rock forward and back again, kind of that little sway, maybe even side to side. So we're not quite in our lizard yet, but we're in that pre-face of our lizard pose. And then when you're ready, drop the knee out. You can lower that knee down, that right knee down, left knee out. Bend your lizard. Good job, guys. A couple more breaths. Exhale to bring the foot to the earth. The hands can be on either side of the foot. Curl the toes under, lift the knee. Step that left foot back. Plank pose just for a breath. And then exhale back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Whenever you're ready, send the left foot to sky, stack the hips, make some circles. And exhale, bring that foot to the ground, bring the knees down, and let's make our way to a seat. There's no rush to get there. And on your seated position, bend the knees, feet to the ground. 
And rather than floating our boats here, we're gonna bring the right leg up and then bring that right ankle on top of that left thigh. And then you can either kind of walk the hands forward for our seated figure four, or if you prefer to be on your back, maybe just lower on your back and find your figure four. Either way, so how you want to do it today. There's options, of course. Maybe closing the eyes. One more breath. Here in your seated figure four, walk the hands back so you can lift that right leg off of the knee and then come into it on the other side here on your back. Let that knee come off or the ankle, then bring the other leg back on the other side. When you're ready, if you're seated, you can bring that foot off. Then maybe you come into your Navasana. If you're on your back, bring that foot off and bring those feet to the sky, back to the floor, and then lift up and hold the upper body back off the ground. So wherever you're at, we're gonna give that core a little bit more love before we're done. If you're in boat pose, lower down the feet, lower down the back. Come on to your back. If you're on your back, lower down the upper back. Lower down the legs. And let's find our resting pose together. Shavasana. Notice the back body connected to the earth. Allow yourself to be completely absorbed in the moment. We begin by bringing our attention, directing it to one thing. So direct your attention to one thing, that elevating aspect. And just concentrate. That one thing.
your thoughts come in and maybe just gently acknowledging them. It's, oh, hey. Hey there. I'm going to come back to you later. Bring your awareness back. Directing that focus to that one thing. Allowing the body to take care of itself. Just letting go of the body. Just directing our awareness. Now holding your awareness. Keeping your eyes closed. Gently rolling over to the side and coming to the seat and bringing your awareness right back to that one thing. And holding your awareness on that one thing. Now maybe letting go of any awareness. Maybe noticing your feet, your hands, your shoulders. It's landing here. Maybe noticing the experience of being alive. Let's bring our hands to our hearts. Maybe we can remember and know that our meditation practice, it's that directed focus. When that focus becomes longer, then we become absorbed. And we're not even thinking of anything, we just are. It doesn't have to be anything super spiritual. It can be a short stop or a cinnamon roll or socks with grippies on the bottom. We bring our focus there and keep it there. We're just eventually absorbed in bliss. 
Let's exhale together. <sighs> Inhaling the experience of being alive. And exhale. Om Shanti 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 Shanti. 